Hey, Psych2Go family. Welcome back to another Psych2Go video. All the love and support that you've given us has aided our mission to make psychology and mental health more accessible to everyone. So thank you. Now let's get into the video. What do you think of when you imagine a person who is depressed? Are you thinking of someone who looks really sad or cries a lot? While those may seem to be the obvious hallmarks for depression, not everyone who is depressed or going through a depressive episode will show how they're feeling. Instead, they may hide their emotions and appear to look happy and cheerful. As a result, this type of depression often goes undetected. Before we begin, we would like to mention that this video is created for educational purposes only and is not intended to substitute a professional diagnosis. If you suspect you may have depression or any mental health condition, we highly advise you to seek help from a qualified mental health professional. Number one, you seem cheerful, optimistic, and generally happy, only on the outside. Are you able to get up, go to work, and interact with others without showing how bad you may be feeling inside? According to Heidi McKenzie, a clinical psychologist practicing in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Smiling depression is another name for high-functioning depression or persistent depressive disorder. This may mean that you are able to function normally and go about your day like any other person, even though you may be experiencing symptoms of depression internally. Two, you're obsessed with showing others how perfect your life is on social media. Do the things you post on social media reflect what's happening in your actual life? While it's normal to share only your best moments, actively trying to create an online presence to look like you're living the perfect life may be harmful to your mental well-being. Posting photos to show others how happy you are when you're not in real life may only serve to create a void that gives smiling depression room to grow. Three, you're reluctant to seek help because you're concerned about appearing weak. Ever heard of the saying, real men don't cry? Statistics have shown that men are far less likely than women to seek help for mental health problems. This may be because they fear being judged or treated differently for their depressive symptoms. As a result, they may be more likely to put on a happy appearance and keep their feelings to themselves. Number four, you fake a smile even though you're going through some big life changes. Have you ever lost your job or moved to a different country? As with other types of depression, smiling depression can be triggered by big life changes. Whether it's a breakup with a loved one or the death of somebody close to you, these large changes may bring about symptoms of depression, as well as pressure to keep up an appearance that you are unaffected. Number five, you throw yourself into hobbies and work to keep busy. Have you found yourself working overtime lately? Whether it's work, chores, or hobbies, people with smiling depression may throw themselves into being busy to avoid confronting how they really feel. This avoidance to acknowledge and address your emotions can be harmful and may lead to emotional and physical burnout. And number six, you struggle with denial. Diagnosing people with smiling depression is difficult for many reasons. Firstly, some people might not even be aware that they are depressed and those who are aware often refuse to or don't seek help. Furthermore, according to a paper from the World Health Organization, smiling depression presents with conflicting symptoms compared to classic depression, which makes it harder to diagnose. All the references used are also added in the description box below. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in our next video.